these same people that think that they're supposed to get these special privileges or whatever and the illusions that are being presented and people falling for them, I don't think it's cool. I don't care what, you know, because we never know. Like I'm saying, you got some people that still all through life. I mean, even as people even dealing drugs is still a form of stealing. Basically, you're trying to cheat your way through something. You don't want to work for it. So you're doing it on a lower vibration scenario or whatever. No, we're breaking down these bears or whatever. Like you got these same people that may go to prison, do 20, 30 years, and they were ex-drug dealers. And then you got these women over here that don't know how to hold their mental together and behind men or whatever that want to present themselves as though they're a business person. But they're the same people that deal with mental issues that haven't been taken care of. And then they want to jump out the woodworks and present themselves as business-minded people, business owners, and never sought out to get healing for their mental state to be rehabilitated, their mental state or re rehabilitate. You know, and they put out these illusions and you have the whole community over here supporting these people because they transformed Nevertheless, you don't know if these people uh, have got their mental state together. A lot of times when people have to live, they have to live and it's about money. It's nothing to do with uh, being in the right mind frame of mind state. It's all to do with, oh, you know what I'm saying? I went down the wrong road. Oops. Bump it, I bumped my head three, four times, came back or whatever. Oops, ops, uh, I wasn't thinking clear. You know, I can't hold my mental together. Um, a very shallow -y person that, you know, deal with insecurities, um, projections, uh, you know, jealousy. And all. people don't know how far these things take people. And I know that we all have to take care of our families and things of that nature. But, you know, a lot of us be walking spiritually blind when we have, haven't been taught or were immature or, you know, when we were younger, we didn't know any better. Or we are hurt people that haven't been guided in the right direction. And we come from these broken systems, which are our parents. And our parents was from broken systems and things of that nature. But y'all living in an illusion. I'm going to need y'all to step back and look at the matter of the fact. Because it's enough of people are really going and being changed. Like making major transformations from inner and healing themselves just as I have had to do. And that is hard work. People may look at themselves and, oh, they transform from, and some of them don't ever, they, you know, they don't ever heal. They, they, you know, seek out a job or whatever, whatever they're into. You know, people got ghostwriters, people got people that, you know, people jump into businesses that they want to own their own business and they go to clean houses. That don't mean that they're healed just because they go and build a business. That don't mean that they're changed just because they have a business. You have to see through the illusions. It's rich people right today that mind frame and mind state is on a low IQ and they are rich. Have that person been healed from their childhood wounds, from abuse, neglect, abandonment, insecurities, re uh, uh, rejection, projection, you know, being raped, all those things, have they been changed? 
No, they haven't. And people, what I, what I'm getting so sick of is people following people, follow and people that's presenting illusions. They're buying illusions, basically. People are selling illusions. And people with the low IQ, they fall for the illusions. What I'm stating is I'm getting tired of people. They don't want you to know the background or the history of their backgrounds. They don't want that to be brought up no more because it'll make them look bad and it'll make people look at them and question where they've been at all this time. If they did bad stuff like, yeah, hell yeah, I'm, I'm not holding anything back. I did some things out of, in, you know, insecurities, projections, was jealousy some, sometimes when I was younger, um, did things out of, uh, you know, having a low IQ, not even knowing, actually, you know, not even having the knowledge of what I was doing, um, hadn't been, you know, guided. I had to learn. I had for God to come and teach me. It's been a major journey and battle I've been fighting here, and it's not easy. And, um, you know, um, at times, sometimes when we are younger, we're immature and we act on out of that immaturity. And sometimes we're spiritually blind and we're acting out of that place. Sometimes we are mental and we have a low IQ. We're acting out of those places. And, you know, it still doesn't stop the fact that, oh, just because I'm on a low IQ, my mind frame is this way doesn't mean I can't go and form some kind of stability for myself and make money. It doesn't mean that you can't go and be rich just because your mind frame is on a low IQ. You still can be given some type of thing inside of you to show you how to get money. It's people like that. And if they're most of the time, if it's coming from a low IQ space, it's gonna, they're gonna buy, that's how they're going to operate. And they may still cheat, whatever they have to do to get this money, they're gonna do it. Okay. No, it's time for people. I'm just so sick of the fakeness. That's where people are getting hurt out of people low. IQs and out of people mental state being on a low in a low place and state and being and them coming from a hurt place so they carry all of that with them which if they're going into business all of that is loading up and being carried with them and they're going to operate from that place and state and so it's not stating that they can't be a business owner, a provider. It's stating that this person is coming from a low place in their life and all they know and all they want to do is, look, I don't want to be in poverty. But I still haven't went to heal myself from these issues that I hold within, that I hide behind. I'm still not changed. I just changed the game and, you know, I, I don't want to go back to prison. So I'm going to change this and take the lessons I learned from going to prison and I'm just going to step up a notch and maybe go try to do something to make my own money on a legitimate way. Okay. This is what we're dealing with. And you got people that will support these people instead of watching their actions and their movements. And a lot of times those kind of people, they hide. It still doesn't stop them from going to a job and making their money every day, but they hide behind that. And they're controlling, they're narcissistic, they're liars, they're cheaters, they're jealous hearted, they're envy, they betrayers, liars. Hurting people hurt people. And that's all you guys are getting. Bottom line. And people support these kind of people. Nevertheless, we can't look at people and judge them. Look, 
I'm not going to give them my money because I know they're vibing on a low vibration or got a low IQ or they're really not a good person. So I'm not going to buy their food. No, you shouldn't be like that either. But I'm saying, stating, look at the facts. If you going to live in your truth, live in your truth. Be real. Don't try to come for nobody else and you ain't cleaned up your own stuff. That's all I'm saying. You don't be the person behind the scene to use your energy knowing that you're an effed up person and you're coming from that same low place that the person that you're bothering that's trying to get themselves out of the mud. You know that's where you came from. So don't keep using your energy. Change your whole mindset and be a positive and operate from a better place and state of mind, guys. That's what I'm stating. That's what needs to be done. And if you're not doing that, then you're you're no good for humanity. All you care about is money and you don't want people to know the real you because you know that you're not changed. You're not a loving, caring person. And you, you know, you're just, you, you basically, you're still on survival mode, basically. Okay, guys, I'll be back with some more. Bye.